can whistle. No, uh, I can. Then go. I'm Hannah Kaiser, and this is the bandwagon. <laughs> at the World Series. We are in Houston at Minute Maid Park right now. It was the night before the World Series, and all through the stadium, we finally got them to turn the music off yay so we can be filming this right now last time we talked about the postseason like a full month ago before i was exhausted uh we were going through what would be the best possible most fun most bandwagonable matchup but we did not get to which team i would actually be rooting for in the fall classic and so today now that we actually know who made it we're going to go through different elements that would contribute to why you may or may not want to root for one of these two teams let's get to it Hannah, how about the city? Houston, very hot, which as you know, I love. They also have queso in the press box, which is great. Okay, that doesn't affect fans, but a snack situation is key when you have a long night. Also, Donald Trump does not live here. Trump voters probably do. Um, admittedly, I have a strong bias for East Coast and the Amtrak, but ultimately, cowboy boots over cardigans every day, so Texas takes this one. Point Astros. What about the uniforms? Okay, all modern uniforms are bland, and the Nationals maybe most of all. They are truly the opposite of iconic. Seriously, just like right now, picture the Nationals uniform. What do you got? Throwbacks, however. Both of these teams, very good throwbacks. Those Expos baby blues versus the elaborate tequila sunrise situation. However, fundamentally, I just do not believe that the Nats should get to lay claim to anything that the Expos did. This is a new team, and so you actually see the Astros throwbacks everywhere in Houston. I love that. They own their tacky ass 70s burger chain style, and for that, point Astros. How about the old aces? <laughs> Both these teams have old aces. Justin Verlander, legit Cy Young season at 36, and you know I loved his no-hitter. We talked about it a ton. However, this is a show about postseason performance, and the maybe most heroic moment of October so far was when 35-year-old Max Scherzer threw an inning of relief against the mighty Dodgers lineup to secure a victory in LA. That was on short rest. He had, he, had, he had pitched two days before that. And then three days after that, again, short rest, he threw seven one-run innings, feeling like his arm was gonna fall off to save DC's entire season. However, Verlander also pitched on short rest. How'd that go? Uh, couldn't spin a slider and gave up four runs in 3.2 innings, including two homers. Okay, he pitched fine when he had a normal start, but you know Max is my boy. Point Nationals. Hey, Max, who has the better things they don't <laughs> want you to ask about? Have you heard that the Nationals lost Bryce Harper this offseason? Of course you have! So have they, and frankly, so it's he, which honestly got to be much worse, although I'm sure the multi-millions help. Meanwhile, the Astros are cheating, have been cheating, are notorious cheaters, got those illegal cameras everywhere here in the stadium. They're picking this up right now as we talk, so that way they can steal the signs of the opposing pitcher and catcher, or at least that's what the opposition would have you think. And I will take the intrigue of technological espionage over tired, failed superstar tropes any day. Honestly, I have no interest in asking the Nationals about Harper. If I had one dose of baseball truth serum, Jeff Luna better watch out. Point Astros, I think, right? Who's got a better fan thing? Both these fan bases are pretty good. Astros fans just go all the f out with their fashion. It is instantly noticeable when you watch a game here at Minute Maid Park. Nats fans, meanwhile, have leaned in hard to Gerard Opara's walk-up song. I've been doing the baby shark arm clap thing, toss up. I do love the fashion. However, the Nationals fan thing is like more interactive, like Gerard Opara's song plays, they get into it. It's like a whole sort of like feedback loop. So, Point Nationals. Who's got the better way to get in the opposing pitcher's head? <laughs> okay, we talked about the Astros, how they're stealing signs. I'm sorry, I mean stealing allegedly. signs, allegedly. Well, during the ALCS, the Yankees got concerned that the Astros were covertly communicating to the batter by whistling the pitch from the dugout. In game one, when the Astros got shut out and only got three hits. MLB investigated this and they did not find anything conclusive, but manager AJ Hinge said, Had I known that, that it would take something like that to, to to set off the Yankees or any other team, we would have practiced it in spring training. Honestly, great point. The next market inefficiency is making the other team think you're communicating in code. Meanwhile, whenever a pitcher throws something not worth swinging at, Juan Soto does this. So yeah, I'm gonna go right ahead and give that point to the Nationals. <laughs> Ultimately, that makes our final score. No, okay, guys, come on. I was goddamn right. I mean, I know I said the entire predictive news cycle is uninformed oh, clickbait, but that was before my most upsetting selection came true. And I was all in on seeing a team that I'd never advanced in October make it all the way to the World Series. I don't know, I'm about to quit on my boys now. That's why I'm bandwagoning. What? It's the Nationals and I can't wear a hat. We're in a stadium. I'm a baseball reporter. Press box. Since the Nationals 
ultimately won the bandwagon. They're the team we're rooting for at the end. We've decided to figure out what they think we should change about baseball. So we're switching up the order of the segments a little bit today for this week for the special World Series edition. And I asked guys on the Nationals, if you were the commissioner for one day and could change one rule in baseball, what would your humble proposal to fix baseball be? The first thing that came to mind would be Wait a second. There's so many. The first thing that came to mind was the baseballs. We gotta get some sort of uniform situation here, especially now that the league has made a deal with MGM. We gotta do something with the competition so that teams are more incentivized to try to win. I think there are some things we could do so that teams that win don't feel penalized by having to maybe support other teams revenue sharing, stuff like that. Free, free that up. If I could go back to like 2000, with no replay. Now that we have replay, we have all these stoppages. It is what it is. I, I know that we want to get the game right, and I've come a long way with that. I think the game is better for it, but just the human error of umpires I think was awesome. It's short in spring training, maybe like three weeks. DH in the National League. Easy for me. <laughs> That's a selfish answer, because I'd be able to play about four or five more years. If we ran into a rule, I'd probably love to change it, but like I also enjoy baseball how it is. You know, For me, if you make the game shorter, then records aren't broken. I don't know. I'm very indifferent and, and partial on a lot of things. I'm very, very gray, not black and white. All right, we're here. It is game one of the World Series. We got one more segment left to do for the past, like, however many months you've had to listen to my completely arbitrary opinions on all sorts of random baseball ephemera. But since Woo! these people care even more about this game than I do, we figured that for once we would open Fan Not A Fan up to the fans. The DH. Fan, because I think it allows extra players who are really good hitters the chance to keep playing after their talents have kind of decreased, but it enables them to have another hitter, which means more offense. Not a fan, because the Nationals are in the National League. Fan. Also a huge fan. We want more action in baseball, and pitchers get free strikeouts every time another pitcher gets up to the plate. Actually not. I kind of like seeing a pitcher bat in the National League. It's the only yeah, we, we cut and cuss with that National League. I like and, it. And strategy pitchers. is totally different. And our pitchers are pretty good hitters. I'm a fan. Because we got Alvarez during the regular season was off the chain. So yes, I'm a fan. The one game wild card playoff. Fan. Why? Because the Nats won. Not a fan. Well, a fan this year, we won it. <laughs> fan, because I think they extended it. That fifth team never really had a chance, but now with the one card playoff, it's perfect. Fan, big fan. It's intense. Both teams are very motivated. There's uh, a lot of stakes going on. It's just uh, kind of like a football vibe. Bryce Harper. We loved him when he was there. He would never win personally. I'm kind of glad he's not with us anymore. Not a fan. He left for the money. What, what is Bryce Harper doing these days? Nothing. Not a fan. He jumped the bandwagon. He could have been yeah. playing the World Series. Not a fan. He's a good player, but not a fan. Ooh. Happy he's in Philly. Huge fan. Let's go. Let's go. Huge Rest fan. in peace. Oh, hell to the no. Does he play for Walgreens? He used to play for Walgreens, <laughs> but he, he left too soon. Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Big fan. Big fan. Right yeah. there. The rhythm, everything, the flow. It's fantastic. Fan. Big, big fan. The kids love it. Really? And it gets the team going. It gets the fans going. The it's a good thing. Like it. We love that. We love that. We love that. We have a three year old. We love her. I know. We love that. <laughs> Fans bandwagoning the Astros. Not a fan of that. I'm I'm native Houstonian and rooting for the Astros since I was a kid, and I'm a season ticket holder. And all of a sudden, all these people who are going, oh yeah, Astros, don't do that. Fan. <laughs> because we need all the support we can get. Whatever they weren't good before, they were good, and now they want to be a fan. Hey, bring on the support. Huge fan. Number one bandwagon right there, just standing off to the right. Yep. Yep, bandwagon fan. Yeah, five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. We'll take them all. Come on, we'll take them all. We've, we've been down come a long on. time. Come time on, about come, come on, Cletus. <laughs> you know, I'll take them all. I know, I'm more than you. Yeah, not you, but we're total bandwagon. We're Houstonians. So that's it. That's the end of the first season of the bandwagon. I had a ton of fun. I hope you did too. We're here at the World Series. Game one is about to start. And I actually just Woo! wanna go watch because I've never been to a World Series game. So I have no parting thoughts. I'm just gonna go do that. <laughs>